Now, here's who I'm going to try to get on it. I don't know. I don't think I can get any member of the court. But I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to get Alan Dulles. I'm going to try to get Senator Russell and Senator Cooper from the Senate. Oh, no, no. Get somebody else, man. Uh, I know. Wait a minute now. I'm going to try to got time. get Jerry Ford. It's not going to take much time, but we got to have states' rights man or somebody that the country has confidence in. And I'm going to have Boggs entered a resolution over there. And I haven't talked to anybody about the membership but you. But uh, I would think that uh, Ford and Boggs would be pretty good. They're both pretty young men. And, both solid and I think that Cooper's a Republican and you're a good state's rights man. I think it might get John McClaw and Alan Dulles and maybe somebody in the court. Who would be the best one if I didn't get the chief? I understand none of the court. You wouldn't want cloth, are you? I understand none of the court. No, we can't have a section. No, it's what it says. That's disqualifying him. Hoover tells me all three of these shots were aimed for the president. And that this telescopic side would bring this thing up where you could uh, shoot a man with as easy as you get a man sitting talking to you. I thought it was just $7 and a half thing. Well, it was a $21 gun, but he said he looked through the telescopic sight himself and he said, Mr. President, I could uh, hit a man on that street going 20 miles an hour as easily as I could hit you sitting talking to you. That's his language. Okay, now. Well, I, I, I really, Mr. President, unless you. Uh, well, I, I, I'm not. Unless listen. you really think it'd be of some yeah, benefit. I know it would be. It'd save my life. I declare, I don't want to save it. I know you don't want to do anything, but I want you to. And I think that this is important enough, and you'll see why. Well, now, Mr. President, uh, I, I know I don't have to tell you my vote is you, but I just can't serve on, on that commission. I. Uh, Dickus already Dick has already been announced and you can serve with anybody for the good of America and uh, uh, this is a, this is a question that has a good many more ramifications than on the surface and uh, uh, there we got to take this out of the arena where they're testifying that Khrushchev and Castro did this and did that and uh, kicking us into a war that can kill 40 million, million Americans in an hour and uh, uh, you'd put on your uniform in a minute. Now, the reason I ask Warren is because he's the Chief Justice of this country, and we've got to have the highest judicial people we can have. The reason I ask you is because you have that same kind of temperament, and you can do anything for your country, and don't go to give me that kind of stuff about you can't serve with anybody. You can do anything. It's not only that. I, I just uh, I don't think the Chief, Chief Justice should have said it, don't you? Well... Uh, Chief Justice ought to do anything he can to save America, and right now we've got a we've got a very touchy thing. And you wait till you look at this evidence. And you wait till you look at this report. Now, don't uh, just I'm not going to lead you wrong, and you're not going to you're not going to be an old dog tray. You're not going to be an old dog tray company, but uh, you never turned your country down. You, well, this is not me. This is your country, and. Uh, uh, the members of the Special Commission are Chief Justice Warren, Senator Richard Russell, and I go right down the list. Now, I've got Alan Dulles and John McClellan, but uh, you've got, you're my man on that commission, and you're going to do it. And don't tell me what you can do and what you can't, because uh, I can't arrest you, and I'm not going to put the FBI on you, but uh, you're goddamn sure going to serve, I'll tell you that.